guys, this is Isa from Printstick in another video tutorial and this time I will show you how you can use photos in your digital planner so that you can create like a scrapbooking effect or just have some nice photos of your family members or anything that you want to look at in your planner. So I'm going to find a blank page in my planner. This is a color planner version 2 and it's the one that I use to keep like my nice journaling things I want to remember. So uh, as I said, I just have my white section and first of all, well, you need to take photos with your device. What I do personally, because I do not carry my iPad with me everywhere, but I do carry my iPhone. So I take most of my photos with my iPhone and then I use the free app called uh, Google Photos to back up all of my photos of my iPhone. And if you log into your account from the iPad, they automatically synchronize and uh, are saved as well on your account you can access them from your iPad so uh, I'm gonna open Google Photos and as you can see I have like different photos all of these were taken with my iPhone now if I want for example this photo just tap and hold on it and you will get all these like uh, options to select the photos for example if I want three photos I can select all these three then tap on this icon click on open in and then you click on save three images and when you go to your photos app you will have the photos saved right here at the end okay good so you have them saved in your camera roll and then when you go to good notes and then you're in your planner page just tap and hold click on image photos all photos which is your camera roll basically and as you can see the three last ones are the ones that I just saved from Google Photos then select the one you want and that's it you have a photo placed in uh, your planner if you want to resize you can use your lasso tool from up here select the photo which really you can just make a tiny circle on the photo tap again click on resize and you can change the size you can also crop this photo so tap and hold click on edit tap again click on crop and you have the option to do a rectangle so in case you just want to change the size or if you want to make it a square etc when you're happy with your selection click on done with this green dot you can rotate your photo and again you can resize so you can make it like a full page, etc. You also have a really cool option with Good Notes, which allows you to edit the photo and crop it with the freehand option, which means that you can crop it in any shape you want. So I'm going to use my Apple Pencil here to be more accurate, but really you can go around anything that you want here and be as detailed as possible. I mean as detailed as you want and when you're happy with your selection again click done and as you can see the photo is cropped exactly as you selected it so I think that's pretty cool and that's gonna help you do um, you know scrapbooking or just keep more photos for example if I place this here and then I can start writing around the image Let me just move the photo a little higher here. Now tap and hold, click edit, and that selected the photo, and then crop. So we had some extra sky that we don't need, so let's just bring this line lower a little bit. And let's try again. Place it where you want it. So I'm just going to give him a little more feet. There we go. Perfect. So now I have my photo with a nice frame. So you can move all of these two together, you can resize them and place them anywhere you want in your planner, okay? So uh, the cool thing with these widgets is that you get the option of having them with this drop shadow so that it looks as though it's uh, on top of the desk here. So let me just resize it. You know, it has this cool effect. First, that the frame is on top of the photo and then that the photo itself and the whole frame is on top of the wood. And you also get the option of getting them with no drop shadows so that you can use this anywhere on the planner as if it was a sticker, okay? 
So I'm going to do another example. I'm going to add a different photo. I have this one of me and my baby. Now the photo is on top of the widget. So to fix that, I will select the widget, cut it, tap and hold, click paste, and then the widget is on top. I will resize it and kind of like see what size it needs to be to have us both in the frame. I think that's it. And now again, I'm going to tap and hold on the photo behind to crop it and get rid of the extra bit of the sides that I know I don't need. And then just arrange it again, click somewhere else, and there you have it. Now, another little uh, trick that I want to show you, as I said, you can resize, you can reposition, but you can also rotate. So first of all, let's just make this very small because GoodNotes kind of grows the images when you're trying to rotate them. So just make it small for now. Then tap and hold on the image that's on top, which is the frame, and click on Edit. And as you can see, it grew. That's why we made it small. And then just rotate to whichever degree you think that you want to keep your photo. Once you're happy with it, just move it aside so that it's no longer on top of this photo tap somewhere else and now you can see that you have your frame rotated but if you bring your photo here it's not gonna fit and you want to rotate your photo as well so to do that just tap and hold on the photo click on edit and then with this dot what you're gonna do you can go back to your frame to see the exact same uh, angle that you want which we found it pretty easy here actually oh and then we deselect and you have now both images rotated now you just need to bring it back to this uh, to its original size so select both images and make them bigger done so this is a really cute way of keeping memories uh, in your planner of different events and things you want to remember. Um, as you can see, I rotated the photos in different angles here. Now you know the technique so you can do it yourself. If you have any questions, please just leave them down below in a comment and I'll get back to you as quick as I can. Thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, if you liked what you saw, please give this video a thumbs up to let me know. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel to be notified whenever I upload a new video related to digital planning and tutorials. And if you would like to show me how you use these uh, photos or any photos in your planner, please tag Printstick Shop on Instagram or share a photo in our group. I'm going to leave a link down below to where you can join. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Mm -hmm.